though it appears that another one bites the dust. Uh, I've done a lot of videos in recent uh, times about anti-vaxxers, vocal anti-vaxxers, who were against the coronavirus vaccine and then ended up dying of coronavirus. And it's important to highlight these situations because hopefully it gets the message out to people how serious coronavirus is and how important the vaccine for coronavirus is. So there have been a couple of cases prior where it's conservative show, TV show hosts, news show hosts, even a young anti-vax nurse died of coronavirus. So now there's another conservative host um, who is actually anti-COVID-19 uh, vaccine. It says, conservative radio host who regretted vaccine skepticism dies of COVID-19. So this is one of those uh, idiots, too. There's a lot of people who are dumb. Like, they'll be in the range where they're more likely to die of coronavirus. Like, maybe they're fat or, you know, they're old or something. And they're, and they're sometimes even more vocally anti-vaccine than somebody who's not in the highest risk group. And it's like, dude, why the fuck would you um, be so vocally anti-vaccine? You're in the high risk group. Uh, so this guy, he's he was 61 years old, so he's in the older range. He's in the higher risk group of coronavirus, and he was vocally anti-vaccine. So his conservative radio host Phil Valentine has died of COVID-19 after expressing skepticism toward vaccines and later saying he regretted not being inoculated. Nashville, Tennessee radio host station WWTN, which broadcast the Phil Valentine show, announced his death on Saturday. He was 61 years old. We are saddened to report that our host and friend Phil Valentine has passed away. Please keep the Valentine family in your thoughts and prayers. Oh, yeah, thoughts and prayers. What the fuck's that going to do? Radio station tweeted. Um, there were some of these, you know, Senator Marsha Blackburn, obviously, uh, sending out a tweet about this. Uh, but also what was interesting is, first of all, he was placed in a critical care unit last month after getting COVID-19. Since he had expressed skepticism toward the vaccine, though his family shot back at suggestions he was an anti-vaxxer. Phil would like for his listeners to know that while he's never been an anti-vaxxer, he regrets not being more vehemently pro-vaccine and looks forward to being able to more vigorously advocate that position as soon as he is back on the air, which we all hope will be soon. Um, his family said at the time of his hospitalization. So his family's lying out of their ass. Uh, this is Phil Valentine's Facebook page, and you can see there's a post here. It says, if you watch nothing else this entire week, watch this. And it's a link to a video that says, massive, world-renowned doctor blows lid off of COVID vaccine. And so, it's a full hour, 45-minute video. It's one doctor saying something. It was even flagged, false information checked by independent fact-checkers on Facebook. And there was even another uh, message. Has it occurred to any of the geniuses running the vaccine program that if you pay people to get the vaccine, i.e. Biden's free beer program, that people might get vaccinated several times for the free stuff and then die? So, again, more anti-vax stuff. But you can see he was pushing uh, anti-vax comments here by posting a bullshit video of some bullshit doctor saying some bullshit about the COVID vaccine. So his family is lying too. So obviously anti-vaxxers are such idiots. They're liars. Why would you expect them to be honest about anything? So his, you know, uh, liar family is going to continue to lie. But there have been many cases of this uh, that have happened. So take it seriously. Um, you know, especially now because with the Delta variant, you're seeing hospitalizations of children now. So it's almost like we're facing a completely different coronavirus at this point because ICUs are getting stuffed with young people. And so when you have ICUs filled with young people, that's actually a sign that, um, young and, and, you know, quote unquote young people, some of them, you know, even over their twenties and such, uh, are filling the ICUs. That's when you really know a uh, disease like this is dangerous. So it's not a joke. Not getting coronavirus, uh, the vaccine, allows the, vac uh, the virus to continue to mutate. So this needs to be stopped. And of course, there are many people who are doing this and suffering the same fate.